The Self-Sorting Disposal Unit TerraCycle CEO Tom Sankey stated, quote, Typically, 50% of what you put into your recycling bin is never recycled. It's sorted and thrown out due to user error, end quote. Although there are designated bins for certain types of waste, many people do not actually think about what they are throwing away. This leads to wasted resources both by recycling facilities, correcting errors, and in materials that should be but never get recycled. The self-sorting disposal unit aims to maximize correct recycling placement by minimizing human error through the use of material identification to sort items placed into the container. Currently, two methods have been verified for this sorting. The first of these two methods is the use of induction sensors. This method was chosen because of the ability to detect all types of metals. Two PCB inductor coils are connected to a TI inductance to digital converter, the LDC-1612. The LDC transfers the converted induction measurements to a microcontroller via I2C protocol. For testing purposes, the microcontroller chosen was a TIVA-C launchpad. Upon startup, 1,000 samples from each of the coils are taken and averaged to find the ambient induction of the environment, allowing for accurate comparisons. When a metal is identified, the TIVA-C onboard red LED turns on to show awareness. The second identification method is an image processing unit. The hardware chosen for this is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with a Pi Camera V2. The open source machine learning software library TensorFlow is used training the Raspberry Pi to recognize commonly dispersed items. When an object is recognized by the Pi Camera, an output signal is transmitted to indicate that the object in question is recyclable. At this stage of development, the Pi camera has been trained to recognize plastic bottles. When detected, a red LED is turned on, signifying the item is to be recycled. Currently, VNC Viewer is being used to remotely connect to the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus so that peripherals are not getting in the way. This system was chosen as it can be used on mobile devices such as iOS and Android, as well as other devices running Mac OS, Windows 10, or Linux. Some issues have yet to be answered in regards to the operation of the material identification modules. First is how to deal with the inflow of materials. Multiple objects within sight of the camera or within range of the induction sensors can cause incorrect readings resulting in failure to properly sort the materials. To circumvent this, a means to filter input materials one at a time while still allowing for new items to be deposited needs to be determined. It has been observed that the image processing program draws a high amount of current which can cause the Raspberry Pi to reboot. Measures to ensure that this does not happen in normal operation need to be added. To this end, considerations for the method of supplying power to the entire device need to be made. Due to some of the requirements the identification modules have, the design of the container will need to have enough space for the Pi camera to make proper object detection while still being compact enough for consumer use. Also, as the ambient induction can vary based on a number of factors, precautions need to be made so that the point of reference for the induction sensors is accurate. The next steps in the development of the self-sorting disposal unit are to improve accuracy and versatility of the image processing platform by creating a custom library for unique objects. To utilize CAD tools and select a design for the container. Research and implement a sensing plate to detect newly placed items and a conveyor belt for transportation of materials to the proper bins. And finally, all modules will need to be integrated.